Greetings, Whiskey Folk, and welcome back to 3 Minute Thoughts. I'm your host, Adam Bradshaw, and today you will hear my 3 Minute Thoughts on the Ardbeg Wee Beastie. Three minutes or thereabouts. So, first of all, we're going to be rating this out of uniqueness of flavour. Uh, how unique I believe the flavour is. <sighs> it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love you, Wee Beastie, I do, and we'll get into how much I love you soon. It's not particularly unique. It's Ardbeg flavoured. It's Ardbeg flavoured Ardbeg. You can get this in the Ten, you can get this in the Ugadal, you can get this in many of our Ardbegs. I don't think... Actually, yeah, I mean... And there's other whiskies that do a very, very similar sort of flavour profile to this. I don't think there's anything particularly special or different about the flavour of this whisky. It's good, it's smoky. If you like Ardbeg and you like smoke, it's a little extra smoky, maybe, but I don't even think it's extra smoky. They marked it as being smokier, the smokiest Ardbeg. It's, it's around the same as the 10, I think. It's very ashy. It's, yeah, it's very good. It's not particularly unique. 3.8 for me on the uniqueness. Quality, as I said, it's very good. 4.4 for me on the quality. This is, it's an official bottling Ardbeg, and... You've probably heard me say uh, many times, if you if if uh, if you're a Dram Association member, I believe that Ardbeg's official bottlings, um, I believe their standard bottlings are by and large much much better than their limited editions. I am always confused and bewildered by how nuts people go for things like the Ardbeg Drum and the Kelpie. And don't get me wrong, they're good, but I don't think they're anywhere near as good as the Ugadal or the Cory Vrecken, and they are always available here. Um, this is actually a new core range whiskey, and I'm really glad to hear that. And it's right up there in the quality with their other core range whiskies. 4.4 on the quality for me. <sighs> the story, it's an Ardbeg. It's an Ardbeg where they're putting a big middle finger up to a lot of people and saying, this is five years old and we're proud of it. It's heavily peated. It's got a big scratch on the side of it because it's called Wee Beastie. I think they've got the story absolutely perfect on this. And I would give it a five if it wasn't for the fact that I actually know from already experience that a lot of people are still going to be off put by that big five. It's I don't want to mark it down for that because I think I think that's not their fault. And I know what they're trying to do by putting a five year old age statement on there and I completely support it. But there are going to be people that are turned off by that. So I have to take a few points off them for that 4.6. Value. Well, we know the value is good. Uh, I can't even remember how expensive it was because it was one of those things where it just came in and I saw the number. I didn't think twice. I just bought one, uh, as did 35 other purchases that happened that same day, I believe. Um, this sold out within you know a couple of hours of me announcing it and putting it online, and it'll probably do the same thing the next shipment we get in as well because the value is frankly outstanding. I think it was like 70 bucks. Really, really, really good value for this kind of whiskey. Uh, five, just straight up five, hands down. Well done, Ardbeg. You know your you know your audience for this whiskey, and you're playing to them perfectly. Uh, congratulations on that. Um, so total, um, I believe seventeen point eight. If I've done the math wrong, then uh, a different number will appear on the screen. But I believe seventeen point eight, and absolutely, I will be bringing this back. I will be bringing this back as soon as I humanly can. Thank you.